Do we need higher interest rates? By www.forexconspiracyreport.com The Forex markets react every time the U.S. Federal Reserve makes a statement about interest rates. Higher rates will raise the value of the U.S. dollar and lower rates will drive it down. The Fed is concerned that raising rates too fast will kill off the slow economic expansion, but that waiting too long will invite inflation. In the midst of this ongoing drama, the president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Richmond says that we need higher rates sooner rather than later. Jeffrey Lacker is not currently a member of the Fed committee that sets rates and will not rotate back to that capacity until 2018, but his voice still carries weight. Reuters reports on Lacker's pitch for higher interest rates. The U.S. economy appears strong enough to warrant significantly higher interest rates, Richmond Federal Reserve Bank President Jeffrey Lacker said on Friday. Speaking to a group of economists in Richmond, Lacker argued that a range of economic analysis suggests the Fed's benchmark overnight interest rate, the federal funds rate, is currently too low. It appears that the funds rate should be significantly higher than it is now, he said in the speech. Mr. Lacker emphasizes the risks of waiting too long to raise rates. He is concerned that waiting too long will allow inflation to go up above the Fed's 2% inflation rate target and that the time raising rates rapidly to fight inflationary pressures would be more likely to drive the economy back into a recession. Fear of Negative Rates A major concern of economists is that if the U.S. heads back into recession, the Fed has virtually no room to cut rates, their usual tool for fighting recessions. As such, the Fed might, in such a case, be forced into negative rate territory. The Wall Street Journal writes about the Fed's dislike of negative interest rates and how that is affecting their current course of action. Federal Reserve officials are turning a cold shoulder to a controversial idea being tried in Japan and much of Europe to boost anemic economies, negative interest rates. Fed officials don't think negative rates are needed in the U.S. because the economy and job market are improving and they are hoping they will never have to use them in the future given their uncertainty about whether the policy works. I'm treating negative rates as an experiment that we have the luxury to watch from a distance, Dennis Lockhart, president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Atlanta, said in an interview at the Fed's annual Jackson Hole Conference in the Wyoming Mountains. Negative rates have been likened to an economic version of the child's game, Hot Potato, where no one wants to be holding it at the end. The point of negative rates is to make borrowing cheaper and to stimulate the economy. Saving becomes expensive under negative interest rates. Some of this is working in Japan and Europe, and some is not. Do we need higher rates to avoid inflation or lower rates to avoid a recession? The jury is out and taking its time on making a decision. For more insights and useful information about Forex markets and trading, visit www.forexconspiracyreport.com.